we are back. While the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman is partaking in his lunch, his gastronomic delight, I will, um, you know, I, I am awaiting uh, William uh, H. Morrill III to call in. He is, uh, I have to ask him where he is now. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if he's still in L.A. or if he's back on the East Coast, but um, we shall see once he calls in. Plus, He's on the road off, and eventually he's going to be back in his office here at the Newsletter Censored Research Center. <clears throat> Let me see if I can do the evil voice with the stovepipe. I don't know if I can do it, though. Nah, not not much better. Yeah, because it's facing down. All right. <clears throat> However, the evil voice that I get every week coming from the elitists concerning the fate of the middle class and the poor and the ma mainstream masses. However, wait. It used to be this, the 30% wanted us dead. Now it's the 20%. They want 80% of us dead. Because we're using their... Sucking up their resources. Because we're sucking up their resources. That's correct. Well, save that thought, because I want to mention that. Um, let's mention that to Billy and see what he says. Because I know he's he's very upset at what uh, how the poor have been treated by the uh, Department of Social Services. Uh, um, what is it? Department of Health and Human Services of the state of... New Jersey. I don't know. They got T A N F now. They got Snap. Snap. That was a group that sang, "We got the power." No, that's the food stamp program today. Oh. Supplemental nutrition, something. Yeah, supplemental nutrition. You ever see the crap? The the packages they used to give out in, in food pantries. It was garbage. Yes, it is. Like Kraft's macaroni and cheese. Like in other words, the cheapest. Toxic supermarket American food industry garbage was yep. given to the uh, the poor and the homeless. Mm -hmm. And those are the places that Chris Christie closed, believe it or not. You're, if you're a homeless, you're getting garbage from the government. And Christie closed the places that handed out the garbage. Isn't that funny? Isn't that weird? I, I'm and sure. Not because they were handing out garbage. I am sure Chris Christie sits down to a a fine aged uh, black Angus steak. Maybe Kobe beef. Lot, or maybe Kobe beef. Maybe mm. the taxpayers are paying for that too. With uh, garlic mashed potatoes, grilled veggies, a big salad. Big salad like from my... Uh, 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 Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Sounds like we are here to kill you. Mm. And that's what they want. That's what they want. You know, I mean, he, he, well, we're on the air. Uh, uh, the, uh, that's what we want. The, they want. It's, uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll mention it uh, once, uh, you know, once he calls. You know, it should be interesting. Uh, that whole concept of uh, thinking that you own the na natural resources uh, that, that God created just because you're rich. Yeah, doesn't it, don't, don't, when you look back at history, don't you see the fact that uh, John D. Rockefeller, uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera, how did he get to own all the gold dang oil? Yeah, how do they how get, sudden, you know, or how does Nestle's, well, anyway, we attempted to have William H. Moore the third on the show. And it was better last week for some reason. Yeah, it was. It was definitely better last week. And he says he had problems hearing us. So on both sides, 
It was better. La it was much better last week. And I can't blame the cable company because uh, you're not. Your phone is not hooked up to that. This is Verizon, baby. Verizon well, is hooked up to the NSA. Yeah, I had I had big problems with Verizon when Verizon was providing my uh, internet access. I had uh, many glitches. They they did not approve of any internet talk radio mm -hmm. going on. They I says yeah, but if somebody owns their own computer, don't they have the right to download on any program they want in the privacy of their own home and use? Of course you do. It's your computer. They don't want you to have that privacy anymore. You should be able to have any program you want on your computer. You know, it goes back to what I just said about John D. Rockefeller and on their oil and everything like that. It goes back to the ISPs, when the ISPs came around. Who the hell got these ISPs? Nobody ever offered me one. Yeah, you're right about that. You know what I mean? Only the buddies, the cronies of the boys in power. That's the ones who got them. And then, of course, the U.S. media never tells we the people anything that's going on, that we're being screwed over, that we're, that we're technically not supposed to pay for an ISP. Mm. And technically, because of Nikolai Tesla, we're not supposed to pay for electricity because of Tesla's invention, which uh, rivaled really rivaled anything that Thomas Edison did. You know, when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, well, Thomas Edison did so that he could make money. Thomas Edison sold out to uh, his uh, sponsor there. Uh, was it J.P. Morgan? J.P. Morgan was behind Edison's inventions and uh, because he saw dollar signs in his eyeballs. Mm -hmm. So he went with Tom Thomas Edison because Thomas Edison sold out, and uh, and that's that. The rest is history. But Nikolai Tesla was a very honest man, a better scientist, and he had an invention where he could harness the world's free energy, energy. world's electricity, free energy for all. That's the beginning of what Nikolai Tesla accomplished. He was dealing with uh, the basic energy of life, or similar to Dr. Wilhelm Reich's argon energy. Right? So, I salute Nikolai Tesla. Of course, he's deceased now, but when he died alone and poor mm. in a New York uh, City hotel room, the uh, FBI was very fast yeah. to enter, Stop up his stuff. enter the room and confiscate all of Tesla's things, mm. his personal, his writings, his experiments, everything he, he owned, they were there because they knew how good Tesla was. That's how they got their death right. Yeah, well I was just going to say, they instead of uh, taking Tesla's inventions and having something that would actually positive. positive that would help mankind in a positive way they converted Tesla's inventions for evil for, yeah. for, for a negative way like warfare like uh, warfare to use in taking over other countries natural resources stealing oil well, we've been, we, you know, the big company countries have been doing that for a long time. Yeah. You done, sir? Oh, by the way, your voice is hanging in there. Your voice is not bad. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. But, damn, it's too bad the, the situation with William Morrow. It's really a shame. I don't understand it. I think he said he was in Austin, Texas. Uh, today? Yeah, I got. I got to give him a. Uh, excuse me. He said to call him back. Anyway, I might as well do a quick promo here. Yeah. 
I was going to do the promo with William Morrow, but if you're wondering, uh, viewers, how can you join our organization? Or support it. Or support our organization. The, oh. best, the best way to join our organization and to support our organization is to get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work of Newsletter Censored, founded in 1977 by the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. This is the way you join us. This is the way you support us. This is the best way to be a part of us. So go to NewsletterCensored.com and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. You need Newsletter Censored. We are living in the end times, and you need Newsletter Censored to learn how to defeat a conservative and to find out what the Bible really has to say for real. So you need Newsletter Censored. Instead of listening to your stupid prosperity preachers like Joe Osteen. Joe Osteen. Well, you know uh, what Joe... Mr. Popoff. Peter Popoff. Well, he's a, he's a, he's a charlatan. And uh, Benny Hinn, uh, oh, yeah. now, um, which is not to be confused with Benny Hill. Pat Robertson. Pat Robertson, the, the conservative nut. Uh, these people are counterfeit Christians. And they're, all they talk about is money. God wants you to be rich and get richer and richer and richer. They don't talk about salvation. They don't talk about the end times. They don't talk about anything else. Anything else but money. Well, they're all going to be raptured up into heaven. Yeah, well, and they're going to have different rooms yeah. and big mansions. Well, they do want you to tithe ten percent of your what you own to yeah them, to them to them. You know, and the, they take the they take something in the Bible and they they kind of alter it, and yeah, they want you to tithe to them. Now, then, when you do tithe biblically. You must find out if the person you're tithing to is actually telling you what's in the Bible. Or if there must you, not be a contradiction. Or if you're tithing to a person who is preaching the real word of God, you want to see what they're doing with those tithes. Are they helping the poor with them? Are they helping the homeless? Well, are they now helping? the tithes are not to be doing that with. And what do you do with a tithe? The tithe is only to do God's work. Wait, that's what I just said. Helping the poor is God's work. No, it isn't. Yeah, well, what, what do you do with it? You don't buy Rolls Royces and, and BMWs. Preaching the gospel around the world, and uh, then the end shall come. All right, and what do you do, what, what do you do with the starving children in Africa? You can help them, but that's not the main thrust of the tithe. And how the hell are these kids going to get fed? They're supposed to have their own land and way to make a living. So preaching, yeah, but they're not getting that because we have capitalism. Well, then somebody's we got to somebody's got to feed them with donated money. These are called changes that have to be made within the civilization. Try if to you wish to, if you wish to help all the people, and then the people can help themselves and and fish with their, you know, their. Yeah, but well, you know whatever. what's you know what's happening to they must have their own independence. Well, you see what's happening with donated food. The, yes, the, that's the what corrupt, I'm saying. The corrupt dictators that run these third world, fourth world, fifth world countries are confiscating the donations to the to help the poor in these countries, like Africa. They're intercepting the funds. They're intercepting the food, and they're using it for their own greedy and they're selfish. keeping the poor poor. Right. You don't want to keep the poor poor. God doesn't want that. God wants you to be independent. True. To be independent, you must have your own land, your own vine. Micah 4, verse 4. There's no independence if you have to go to the food pantry every week or get a check from the government for uh, food stamps. Well, you, by the way, you don't get a check anymore. You no. got a card. You get a car with a magnetic strip. Yeah. Call yeah. it the family's last. Um, a family's family's voice. Family's voice. But they're still last. Family's first car. If you're poor, you're still last. But you know what the Bible says? What? The first shall be last. The meek 
shall inherit the earth. You mean the Mamelukes? As we say in Italian? Not the Mamelukes. I think Mama the Mamelukes are on a, Wall Street. A Mamelukes is a, simp a simpleton. Well, the meek are not simpletons. No, no. The meek are the ones are who... Are victimized. Yes, correct. The meek are victimized. Right. That's why they shall right. be first. Like when the Italian says, last now. Gavone. Gavone or Gavone. Gavone is a, is a ill-mannered, like a an ill-mannered, crude individual with no class. Like those on Wall Street. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Or, or the people that have, uh, I was supposed to do shows with, and they did no show, no calls. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have an appointment with somebody and you do a no show, no call, it, it, that's extremely ill-mannered mm -hmm. and unprofessional and mm -hmm. rude. Oh, boy. That pisses me off that we couldn't hear Billy Morrow. I, maybe, maybe he was outside. Maybe he should be in a room. What is phone is he using? He's using, um, he has, he has, uh, T, he has, a, he was using a cell phone, T-Mobile, cell phone. Well, that he might, might be a problem. You think he might have been outdoors when he was talking? Maybe he was indoors. I gotta ask him. You know, when you're indoors, you get a lousier connection. But, uh, yeah, but he, he was, he was using the cell phone last week, right? Yeah, and, and, and we oh, heard him and we heard better him better, better it was normal. when it was far away from the camera. It was normal last week, normal according to this phone. Yes. True. Okay? This was abnormal. And evidently this week. when you listen to the receiver, the dial tone was loud. Yeah. Like for instance, put it on now. I'm sure if we hear a lot if we hear a woo a little low. Well, that's very low too. It sounds a little low. Yeah, it sounds a little, there is no volume button on this, is No, it? there's no volume button, but... Yeah, that was a little... Yeah, maybe... Hmm. Huh. Sure everything's plugged in as it's supposed to be? Well, it... it, it the, the other machine is lit up and the phone is on, so everything has to be plugged in. And the dial tone was louder on the handset. Right. Strange. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Hmm. Well, um, um, I know somebody that has a, um, a Panasonic cordless land, landline phone, and uh, when he puts it on speakerphone, man, is it loud. It sounds like the human being is right here in the room with you. Well, what does he do to do that? I Well, he has the cable, he has the digital cable running his home phone, which, like I do, maybe, because my volume is super loud, because I have, I have the cable vision, the optimum digital package on the home phone. You have regular Verizon, but why, oh, you're looking, okay, well, we'll uh, maybe, we'll take a, we'll take maybe, a look later. Maybe, maybe you touched the ringer, and maybe the ringer has something to do with the volume. I don't know. Well, we'll we'll look we'll look into it later on. All right, let's sink our teeth back into these readings. Yes, we're still having problems with Microsoft glitches galore. Glitches galore. Shame on you, Microsoft and Windows. I can't see anything from you here suck. anyway. Okay, we'll have to look yeah, at we'll, it. Later. We'll look at it later. In oh, okay. this letter about compromise oh, and redistribution of wealth, oh boy. the writer says socialists, fascists, and political progressives hold that our lives and property belong to the state, and that it is fair to transfer wealth from some to others. I'm not writing to point out the ridiculousness of this lumping progressives in with socialists and fascists, or that he's simply making things up when he says that progressives believe that people's lives and property belong to the state. I'm writing to point out that he has forgotten the massive transfer of wealth that has already occurred. 
Well, it's definitely not normal and fair that the middle class have the tax burden and the rich don't pay any taxes. The numbers are easy to find, including a 2011 study by the Congressional Budget Office that found that between 1979 and 2007, the top earning fifth of the U.S. population, that's 20%, that's 20%, those 20% who want the 80% to die. Those, those are the, the top richest people, probably not just in the United States, but the world. Yeah, but right now we're talking about the United States. They, and they want us dead. Now, do you see the constant progression and elevation of greed in America? Like, as soon as you give them a finger, they want all the fingers, all five, all five, ten fingers. As soon as you give them all ten fingers, uh, which include your thumbs, by the way, they want the hands. Then they want the arms. Then they want more. They want more. They want more. They want. So the the progression of greed is elevating because they're getting away with what they want, their objective. So it's getting worse and worse. The top earning fifth of the U.S. population saw a 10 percentage point increase in its share of after-tax income. Most of that growth went to the top 1 percent, which gained about 275 percent. The four other quintiles, the 80 percent, below the top 20 percent, each had an after-tax income decline of two to three percentage points. There's nothing fair about that transfer. And the current level of income inequality, the highest it's been since the Great Depression, is not good for our economic system. And a big reason why we still can't get a recovery started. Mm -hmm. I have to ask the writer, why is the upward transfer of wealth from 1980 to 2010, all right. But the current, very modest attempts by the Democrats to reverse or slow some of that equate to theft. True. See, that person, it's okay. It's okay to transfer wealth to the already wealthy. But oh, God yeah. forbid we should transfer wealth like we did after World War II to the middle class and the poor. Heaven forbid that should take place, right? That's correct. Heaven forbid. The director of the National Security Agency, the NSA, said on Wednesday that once secret surveillance programs disrupted dozens of terrorist attacks, mm -hmm. explicitly describing for Congress how the programs worked in collecting Americans' phone records and tapping into their internet activity. Vigorously defending the programs, General Keith Alexander said the public needs to know how the programs operate amid growing concerns that government efforts to secure